Thank you so much, Jonathan. And we are so grateful for you jumping in, leading this event on such short notice. So enormous, enormous thanks. Uh, to everyone here, I have to ask, it's kind of nice, right, to get dressed up, have some drinks, dinner, and have be out in the world. And of course, to celebrate the best of journalism without having to look at a computer screen. Um, ignore that, those of you watching live online, we like having you here. Tonight is indeed a festive occasion, but we know it has been a pretty tough year. One common thread runs through all of the threats we face, disinformation. Disinformation is eroding trust in facts. It's fueling conflict and war and weakening democratic institutions, including here in the US. It is having, all too often, fatal results. To fight this scourge, every journalist in the world must become a disinformation reporter. At ICFJ, we are mobilizing to help journalists here and abroad to disarm the disinformation that is literally threatening democracies everywhere. With the generous support of the Scripps Howard Foundation, we're helping journalists produce investigative reporting to identify the shadow figures behind the lies. We're working with media outlets to reach those especially targeted by these insidious campaigns. And we're deeply grateful to the Riley family for backing the creation of the Dee Dee Riley Fund to combat disinformation, which is so crucial, yes, which is crucial to our efforts to develop innovative solutions that build trust in reliable reporting. Through all of our efforts, we're providing the resources and support that journalists need to defeat the assault on truth. And here's how we're doing it. We're giving them the expertise they need to effectively report on the global crises and tectonic shifts facing their communities, from rising autocracies to rising sea levels. We're helping journalists pioneer techniques to reach new and diverse audiences with trustworthy information. And we're helping news outlets build successful businesses so they can do their essential work in an increasingly difficult economic landscape. Our motto is, it takes a journalist. And it does, it really does. The reporters and the editors and the news entrepreneurs in our global network do life-changing work every day. They need ICFJ support and they need your support. They need to do the job that our democracies absolutely demand. So let's watch a video highlighting some of these journalists, narrated by Philip Martin, one of the great reporters in our network. I am a proud member of the ICFJ Global Network. As an ICFJ fellow, I went to Southeast Asia and the United Arab Emirates to report on human trafficking. The experience was pivotal in developing my expertise on this devastating crime. I am one of 132,000 journalists in the ICFJ network. Journalists like Venezuela's Javier Malero de Luca, his team at El Pitazo, is reporting on the true extent of child hunger in Venezuela, a crisis the government is trying to hide. El Pitazo introduced its audience to Miguel, whose family struggled to put food on the table. The five-year-old died. <laughs> Reporters for El Patazo have been attacked and threatened, but they're determined to bring news to their country on the radio, WhatsApp, and even on the backs of motorbikes. With ICFJ's support, El Patazo increased its audience and revenue and now receives business coaching through an ICFJ program that helps news organizations survive and thrive. This is a rare opportunity to share with other news leaders around the world and to benefit from the knowledge of world-class experts in our industry. This is fundamentally changing the way we operate and the way we think about things. In Nigeria, ICFJ Nightfellow, Hana Ajakaye, is fighting lies in the lead-up to the country's 2023 elections. Ajakaye and her team at Facts Matter NG use the power of digital influencers and humor to make the truth go viral and help people identify disinformation. Guys, U.S. President Joe Biden is relocating to Africa. Okay, well, 
That's fake news. Here are tips on how to identify fake news. One. Aja Kaye has enlisted entertainers, comedians, and young people to spread verified news on social media. Most young people in Nigeria do not trust traditional sources of news. So we are trying to change that. There's a lot at stake. In another part of the world, Roman Anin and his reporters fled Russia this year to avoid arrest and censorship and possibly worse. From exile, they tracked down a Russian soldier in a cell phone photo and interviewed him on the front lines in Ukraine. He confessed to killing civilians in Avdrivka village and named the man who gave the order. The video has been viewed more than one and a half million times. The team is investigating high-ranking Russian officials, as well as possible war crimes. An ICFJ Knight Award winner, Anin says ICFJ's help has been vital. The support from ICFJ helped us to actually make the life of our reporters safer. We are just a few of the journalists in the ICFJ network who are making a difference. Your support means that we can fight against authoritarian censorship, combat the growing scourge of disinformation, inform our audiences about life and death issues, and so much more. From all of us, thank you for your support. Thanks. So as you can see, these are just a few of the thousands of journalists that we serve. And with your help, we can reach and do so much more. These journalists are, with your help, will make their societies better places in so many ways.